Hey, this is Pastor Dawn, and I have a quick question for you and uh, a quick um, prophetic word for you through the Word of God. Do you ever get into a space where it's difficult for you to get out of stinking thinking? Do you ever get into a space where you are overcome by your surroundings or your circumstances and you just can't seem to pull yourself out of that yucky, mental, emotional garbage space? I'm going to give you a surefire way to combat it. All right. I believe that when we choose to lift up our eyes from whence comes our help, our, com our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, and we begin to enter into a space of chosen, determined joy, gratitude, and thankfulness, I promise to God, you guys, it will lift you up out of the dumps. I have a favorite scripture that I go to. It's like my go-to anytime that I'm feeling down or yucky. And yes, every once in a while, I have those kind of days or those kind of moments. And it is Psalm 103. Now, Psalm 103 is a long scripture, but I'm only going to read the first five verses. And I'm going to share with you how I apply it to my situation and how it is a quick fix for any time that the enemy is trying to overwhelm me with oppression, heaviness, frustration, what have you. All right. So Psalm 103, I'm going to be reading from the um, Passion Translation. And it says, with my whole heart, with my whole life, and with every bit of my innermost being, I bow in wonder and love before you, my holy God. Yahweh, you are my soul's celebration. How could I ever forget all of your miracles of kindness that you've done for me? You've kissed my heart with forgiveness in spite of all that I've done. You've healed me inside and out from every disease. You've rescued me from hell and saved me from uh, and saved my life. You've crowned me with love and mercy. I'm going to come back to that one in a few moments. You satisfy my every desire with good things and you have supercharged my life so that I soar again like the flying eagle in the sky. Now, I want to read the same passage to you in the Amplified Version, and I want to highlight two, two scriptures because I think that it's going to make a difference in your day today. It says, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is deepest within me, bless his holy name. You guys, let's just take a moment. I don't care how bad you feel right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I want you to find find five things that you can thank God for. I'm going to speak mine out loud really quickly. And um, as I do mine, I want you to just speak out yours. Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus that I woke up today in my right mind. I have the full use of my limbs. Um, I'm pretty much uh, together mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So I thank you for that, Lord. <laughs> um, I had a decent night's sleep. I woke up to indoor plumbing and uh, indoor lights. Um, I didn't have to go to an outhouse this morning. And Lord, you brought me out here into um, the afternoon to spend a little bit of time with you in the sunshine. And so, Lord, I thank you. You guys, sometimes we have to be thankful for even the things that we take for granted. If you will begin, you could be homeless. You could be without food. You could be alone. And, and maybe some of you are experiencing some of those things. But no matter what your situation is, you can always find five things to be grateful for. So Psalm 103 verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not one of his benefits. So you guys, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to try to make this video short, but if you stay to the end, I promise, you're going to get a golden nugget that you do not want to miss. He forgives all of your iniquities and he heals all of your diseases. Even if you're struggling with a physical condition right now, I want you to think of a time when God actually healed your body. He healed you of a headache or he healed you of something. I don't know what. I want you to think to that moment and I want you to praise him and thank him for that in this very moment right now. Um, he has forgiven all of your sins. You guys, there are things that we have done that God has wiped away the stench of condemnation and guilt and we're, and we're walking free from them. So we need to be thankful for that. Next one. Sorry, you guys. He redeems your life from the pit and corruption. You guys, how many times has God pulled you out of a dark space, out of a difficult space? He's pulled me out of dark, difficult spaces many, many times. 
It says, and he beautifies and crowns you and dignifies you with loving kindness and tender mercy. All right. This one right here. This is my favorite. I want you today to read that part of Psalm 103. It's in verse four. It says that he crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. I want you to ask God to reveal to you what it means when it says that he crowns you with loving kindness and mercy. All right. All right. Last one. And he, uh, he satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles and you are overcoming and soaring. All right. Even if today feels, even if today just sucks. How many of you sometimes have a day that just sucks? Even if today sucks, I want you to think of at least three times when God showed up for you in a major way and he renewed your strength or he met your need or he ministered to your heart or whatever. I want you to recall that this, this scripture says, forget not one of his benefits. You guys, the biggest thing that the enemy tries to do is he tries to work against our mind and our emotions. But we have something, we have many things that we can use to combat that. One of them is the word of God. If you will begin to, to read scripture and speak scripture over your life, I promise your mental energy, your emotional energy, your overall well-being will perk up immediately. In Psalm 103, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not one of his benefits. You guys, sometimes we forget how good God has been to us. And so we walk around with this mumbling, grumbling blah, 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 um, attitude and complaining. And I'm going to tell you what, uh, when, um, when the nation of Israel was in the, the desert of, of wilderness and they were, they were leaving Egypt and they were spending 40 years trying to get to the promised land, the biggest thing that, that, um, that was what I want to say prohibited prohibited their success and prolonged their journey was their mumbling grumbling complaining attitudes you guys you have the power and the authority to get out of stinking thinking to choose joy to choose gratitude to choose thankfulness and to begin to meditate on the word of God all right I'm going to pray for you real quickly if you feel led to sow into uh, the ministry of this channel or uh, into this per particular word, if you will check out uh, the giving links in the description of this video, you guys, I run a trauma coaching program for women who have experienced past sexual trauma and narcissistic abuse. And we have three scholarships that we would love to be able to meet today, this week. And so if you will pray about sowing into this ministry, if this channel has been a blessing to you, then I ask that you consider that. All right, let's pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, whatever the other person on the side of, uh, of the other side of this phone, on the other side of this computer, on the other side of this tablet, your son or your daughter right now, that is struggling with depression, oppression, or heavy spirit, that is struggling with anxiety or fear or worry or doubt, one who is struggling with frustration, impatience, and anger. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking right now that you would remind them of all that you have done for them thus far in their lives. Lord, I ask that you would cause gratitude and joyfulness and thankfulness to well up within them, that they would specifically remember moments where you have met their need, where you have met them physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, or financially. In Jesus' name, I'm asking that you help them to remember, Father God, the many times that you have met their need and that you have been there for them. Father God, may they recall those things. May they proclaim them to the heavenlies. May they say, Lord, thank you. If you did it once before, I know that you'll do it again. If you did that before, once before, Abba, Father, I know that you will meet my need again, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I ask that you would crown your sons and daughters with your mercy and your loving kindness this day in Jesus' name. All right, you guys, until the next video, I'll see you soon.